Hello everyone, welcome back to this edition of EdTech on Tap. This is Mark Hammonds, and today what I would like to show you is how to create a course in the iTunes U Course Manager. This is free, and all you need to get started is an Apple ID. So if you don't have one, you can click here and create one now, but in this uh, situation, I happen to have one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and log in with this. Now, I've already logged in before, so I've gone through the process of adding in all of the materials for me, which is essentially this name, where I work, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not gonna bore you with those details. But what I wanna do show you is how to create a new course. So by clicking on Create New Course, you're taken to this landing page here. And this landing page holds all the information for your particular course that you are trying to teach. And so what I am going to do here is go through and fill out all this information. Now the course name is what will appear when uh, people search for your course in the iTunes U store. The short name is just a keyword indicator that is kind of behind the scenes. And obviously the institution comes from my account and I'm putting in you know, the category and then the description for this particular course. And so all this information helps build the initial shell for your course to make it uh, valuable and useful for people coming across it and to see if it's something that they want to uh, enroll in. And because it is a course, what you can also do is set a duration. So there's two different course types, either self-paced or in session. You also get to add your own course image, which is what will appear on the bookshelf inside of iTunes U. So you wanna make sure it's something noticeable and flashy. But once you get all that uh, input correctly, you click on save and now your course is ready to go. Okay, so now that you see here, I've created my course and it populates here underneath my course name. You'll notice with your entire account, you have a total of 20 gigabytes worth of space that you can add content, whether that's audio, video, books, PDF documents, images, pretty much anything and everything you want, you can add to this. And now what I wanna do here is I wanna to go to my course and I want to start editing my course. And what you have to do in order to get started is you have to start with an outline. The outline is the most important part. So what I wanna do here is just go through and I'm just gonna create a, an outline for categories that, that I want my apps to fit in with. So I'm just gonna put in the major subject areas here that will allow me to categorize the apps on these given subjects. And then I can go back later on and now I can then add content to those given areas in the outline. But first and foremost, I have to start with an outline before I can proceed to the next part. Now that our outline is complete, we can go in and start creating posts to align it to our outline. Now you can have as many different posts as you want per given topic of the outline. So for this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on add post here in the bottom left hand corner. And then across the top, I can select the given topic it's associated with. So let me go down here to science apps and I will name this topic K3 science apps. And then I can give some more information in here. But in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and click on post just to save it so you can see how it lines up with everything inside of this area here. Now, if I want it, I can go in and edit it and have it change into a given topic if I happen to put it into the wrong one. But let me go over here to materials real quick. Now, in materials is where you can add different materials for your entire course. And as you can see here, we have audio, video, books, images, web links, and then also apps. What I wanna do is I wanna click on add material. When you click on enter an iTunes store link, it gives you a window that allows you to paste in the link to the app. And by clicking on this link here, it shows you how to get the actual link to the app. So I've already copied a link here and I'm going to add in another one. And when I click that, notice it brings in all the information about this particular app. It tells you who made it, it gives, brings in a picture and also gives you the name of it. So here I've already added two different apps. So let me go through the process of adding in a couple of more. Okay, so as you can see here, I've gone through and I've added about 30 or so more apps to demonstrate how to use this inside of the iTunes U Course Manager. And so if I go back to my posts, and now what I wanna do is I'm gonna go into this K3 Science apps that we added earlier and I'll click on the edit button and now what I can do down here on the very bottom is I can attach materials and so what I want to do is I want to choose from my materials and when I do that this window pops up and shows me all of the apps that are in my materials and so I can select from the various apps I have in here 
So I will select my nature animal tracks. All right, I'm gonna give it a title so it shows up nice and clean inside of my course. And to repeat this process to add more materials, all you have to do is click on this little plus sign down here in the bottom right. And again, scroll up, click on attach material, choose from my materials. And in this case, I'll select another one, Bobo Explores Light. And you'll notice that this, this list can grow as much as you want inside of here. But let's say, for example, that I find a new app and I want to add it from right here. So if I click on this plus sign one more time and I choose add material, I can also add materials directly to this and then will then show up inside of my materials. So if I click on enter an iTunes store link, again, I can repeat that same process we did earlier. And so I have a new app here, which is called Monster Physics. There we go. And now when I click on save, now notice here I have information for K3 science apps and I have all of my apps aligned to that particular topic there. Okay, for the sake of time, I've gone ahead and done this for the other subject areas that we put in the outline. So if I navigate over here on the left, if I click on English apps, it'll take me to that category. I can also go down to mathematics and see all the math apps I've added, as well as technology apps such as Nearpod. Now everything I've created here has been done online on my computer using Safari. I can't create this content on an iPad. I can only do it on a regular computer with a regular browser. Now the view we're seeing here is more of a teacherly type view. So this is where we can go in and add content and change things and, and manipulate things. For participants, they're going to connect to this through their iOS device, whether that is an iPhone, iPod Touch, or an iPad. So here the screen I'm showing you is how participants see it on an iPad. And now notice you can navigate through, you can take a look at all the different categories. Now what we've done here is done a very simple starting point by just adding apps. In future episodes, I will show you how you can add movies, iBooks, PDF documents, as well as more content inside of the outline. In the next video, I will show you how to share this course out so others can enroll in it.